You're watching WMAR 2 News. For this WMAR 2 News update, I'm Kelly Swoop. 46 more Marylanders have died from COVID-19. That high number represents three days of reporting. Zero deaths were reported on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. State officials say because of maintenance on the health department's website. 825 people remain in the hospital. That is the same as on Monday. The state's positivity rate increased slightly today to 4.44%. One day after the first meeting of Baltimore City's new group violence production strategy, there's been two more murders. The latest happened just before noon today. City police say they found a man dead on the train tracks in between West Bilverder Avenue and West Garrison Avenue. That is in northwest Baltimore. Police say the man was dead when they found him. He had been shot in the back of the head and the second murder happened just before two o'clock this morning along the Washington Boulevard in the Memorial Park neighborhood. Police say this man was shot in the head. If you know anything on either of these cases, please give Metro Crime Stoppers a call. Protecting dozens of organizations and religious institutions from hate crimes. Governor Larry Hogan awarding today $3 million in grants from the Protecting Against Hate Crimes program. It'll be used on equipment personnel and physical security enhancements. Governor says it will help send a clear message that Marylanders stand shoulder to shoulder against all forms of hate and discrimination. To date, the Hogan administration has provided more than $8 million to protect vulnerable groups from hate crimes. And we're looking at more clouds returning to the forecast tomorrow. And the only difference between uh, what we're going to see is that there's going to be a little bit more moisture around. So I do think that more of us will see some of those sprinkles. Isolated thunderstorm not out of the question, especially in western Maryland. Temperatures are going to struggle to get out of the upper 70s, but I think that most of us get there. I think we get to 82 here in Baltimore. Same for Chestertown, 81 in Essex, 83 in Easton, upper 70s near the Mason-Dixon line. And as we head through your Thursday, more showers and thunderstorms as a cold front's going to slide through the region, clearing out as we head into your Friday, nice weather, lots of sunshine and dry air as we head into next week. Daytime highs by next Tuesday near 79. All right, stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.